What is up, everybody? It's Vicious here. Sorry I haven't been recording as much lately. Uh, DNF Duel information kind of went dry, but there's a lot of other things that have been happening, and I got some footage for it. Um, Blaze Blue Central Fiction gained a rollback netcode. Uh, there's a public test on Steam right now, and Blaze Blue Tag also has rollback netcode implemented on it on both Steam and PS4. So overall, everything is pretty good. We're feeling pretty good as fans. We should all just be very, very, very happy right now um, if we're fighting game fans, that is. Now, I um, am very happy because Persona 4 Arena Ultimax is heading to PS4, Steam, and Nintendo Switch. This is really nice because uh, Persona 4 Ultimax was previously uh, just on Xbox 360 and PS3. So it was extremely limited in that facet. Uh, not a lot of Steam players had the chance to play it. And there's a lot more Steam players now, especially since the pandemic. Everybody got money to buy a PC or parts for a PC. And I think that that's wonderful that it's coming to all these different systems because uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax is actually, if you ask me, one of the best fighting games ever made. And I'm not just saying that because Arc System Works made it or developed it. I'm saying it because I really enjoyed this game. For those who don't know me, uh, Blaze Blue is my favorite 2D fighting game franchise. And I would say that I, I can't even give you... Um, uh, a second favorite or a third favorite or a fourth favorite because it's like a three-way a three-way tie between Melty Blood, Under Night and Birth, and Persona 4 Ultimax. Ultimax is so good. It's so good. A lot of great network features were implemented in this game, and for the time it came out, its online was pretty crispy. If this game has rollback netcode, I believe we're in there. But I want to talk about something a little bit more, I guess, controversial. And I never imagined that this would be that controversial, but evidently it is. So, um, Persona 4, um, I'm sorry, regular Atlas fans, I, I guess we'll just say that. Regular Atlas fans are a little, um, they're a little pissed because Persona 4 Golden still isn't on PS4 and Nintendo Switch. And I, I kind of find that a bit ridiculous that we're in 2000. 21 and you know they're really trying to get this game from 2008 that was ported in 2011 like i think it was 2011 uh and you know what it was ported to steam already so most people should have access to persona 4 um i'm sorry persona 4 golden almost at ultimax uh it, i don't think the requirements for it are that bad like, as a matter of fact, if you got a standard laptop, like any laptop that you would use for school, uh, I think you should be able to actually play Persona 4 Golden because this game was on PS Vita, guys. It doesn't take a hell of a lot of processing power or a hell of a lot of RAM to actually get that up and running. I might, not, I might need to fact check that, but I'm almost certain that you don't really need to do a lot of legwork to get that game up and running. Uh, but there's a lot of discourse happening on Twitter. There's a lot of discourse happening, hell, um, on YouTube about how Golden isn't on PlayStation. Like, let me just go ahead and say something, and this is going to make me sound like a hater. I did not know about the Persona series until Persona 4 Arena, the original. And after learning about it, I actually bought Persona 4 for the PS3 you can get a, if you have a PS3 you can download and play the original Persona 4 right now um, not golden golden has like more costumes and I think it has an extra dungeon or two uh, I might be mistaken but again I, I never really play golden because I don't really like Persona 4 I honestly think Persona 4 has a couple of pretentious characters I think Persona 5 um, is such a superior game to Persona 4. Now, I, I get if you have nostalgia for Persona 4, maybe it's something that I'm just coming into because I'm not a huge, long-time Shin Megami Tensei fan, but I think Persona 5 is just so much better because uh, they improved upon a lot of things that Persona 4 has, and who's to say that Golden didn't improve upon a lot of those things, but I can't foresee it improve, improving upon like many of the social aspects as Persona 5 did. Persona 5 was just cream of the crop. You know, I would dare to say 
that yeah it is the best one if you're looking for features if you're looking for story i think the story was pretty captivating uh i think persona 4 i think that there's a lot of stuff in Persona 4 that's very interesting. Overall, I don't like a lot of the characters like that. I think Chie and Yukiko are silly. I like Yosuke. I like Kanji. I like Naoto. And I like Adachi because those characters feel the most real. I even like the protagonist more in Persona 5. You know, um, But this is a big point of contention on Twitter and YouTube. I personally think that they should just chill out a bit. Uh, it it kind of overshadows how people have been really asking for Persona 4 Ultimax for different consoles since uh, when did Ultimax release? In 2011 or 2012, something along those lines. Or maybe it was 2013. I have to fact check that. Uh, so we've been asking for this for uh, about eight or nine years. And, you know, Persona 4 has had a re release on Steam. And it came to the PlayStation Vita. Now, if you didn't want to play the PlayStation Vita, that's whatever. Like, honestly, personally, if you ask me, I think they should have put Persona 4 Golden on PS3 originally. But that's just my opinion. But if you like Persona 4 so much, you should definitely get Persona 4 on Steam. I don't see what would be stopping you besides not having a laptop. And if you don't have a laptop... uh. I think your priorities are a little bit out of whack. I think you should, <laughs> I think you should get a laptop so you have the internet so you can like you know fill out job applications and like you know update your resume, uh, email people and stuff like that. Um, you know at least email comfortably. Uh, I don't think you should be worrying about the uh, not having a 2008 uh, ported game to 2011 console systems or whatever like I, I, th I think you should think about that and you know just let fighting game players have this because we've been wanting this game for a long time and unlike uh rpg fans i feel like there's more consistency with uh fighting game fans fighting game fans want to play their games forever you know and i'm not saying that rpg fans don't but we want to play ours forever consistently if you look in our communities there's people that still play marvel versus capcom 2 uh that dropped on the dreamcast the dreamcast came out in the 90s and its production of games ended in the 90s i don't know exactly when mvc2 dropped because i was not playing mvc2 at the time i was playing sonic adventure but i think that there's something that you should um, I think there's something that you should like pay attention to there because we're still playing this game. We still got hashtags saying free MVC2. People want to play MVC2. We want this game. And this isn't necessarily saying that some people are like hating on the game, hating Persona 4 Ultimax directly, but they're just like, oh, well, this uh, 25th anniversary was dookie. Like, don't say that. This 25th anniversary was awesome because they gave one of the more vocal groups within the. Um, within their uh, subgenre of fans like they're giving us something and we can look forward to possibly a persona 4 or, i'm sorry persona 5 arena that's what i really wanted uh the fact that they're going with persona 4 is completely fine because again we all wanted this uh anime fighting game fans uh we want this game with rollback netcode you know uh they don't know what rollback netcode is i don't blame them if they're not fighting game fans but that's just something that we gotta worry about you know if you were playing an rpg you wouldn't worry about net play uh situations you just do whatever you had to do but we had to we need this to interact with each other in a quick and um i, I guess uniform way so we can play more wide varieties of people so we can play across different countries and continents like we share that with one another and i think that if we get this game we're definitely going to you know share this game and we're going to treasure it for a lot longer and the fact that it's coming to steam is very excellent because steam ain't going nowhere uh ps4 who knows if ps6 will be backwards compatible with ps4 you know uh, who knows if the next Nintendo will be backwards compatible with the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch ain't backwards compatible with the Wii U. We don't know. And the game's not coming to Xbox as of yet, which is hilarious. Um, I don't believe that Ultimax was a PS3 exclusive. If it was, then I was right, but I, I don't believe it was. You know, I might... I don't know. 
but I really just made this video just to say, you know, just let us have this one. Shut up about the, the anniversary being bad. You didn't get Persona 4. The game is over. The game is over 10 years old. Uh, and if you haven't played it yet, I don't understand what's taking you so long because, again, you can have a laptop. You can emulate this game. You can emulate Persona 4 Golden, if you want me to be all the way honest. And you could also just buy the fucking game and play the game. Right? I mean, it's it's that simple. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you if I'm just being too harsh. Maybe it's my fighting gamer perspective. But I just feel really... Uh, I don't know. I, I feel a little irritated when something great happens and people don't realize how great it is. And then when it happens and then uh, a very vocal group is like, we don't want this. We don't care about this. We're not going to get more of the good stuff that we want. You know, and uh, for what it's worth, I do hope that the people that want Persona 4 Golden on, you know, current gen consoles, I hope that they get it. But you know what? I do don't really care that much if they do if they're going to act like that so let me know what you guys think i'm a bit jaded so you know take everything i say with a grain of salt and holler at me later